Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and in today's video, I'm doing a wig install with Love Me Hair. Shout out to Love Me Hair for sponsoring this video and as you can see, the wig is giving. So stay tuned, watch the whole video and definitely stay until the end so you can hear my final thoughts on the wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. I am very excited about this wig install because it's been so long since I've had a straight wig and this wig was sent to me by Love Me Hair so shout out to them for sponsoring this video and they sent a bunch of goodies in the box actually. So first of all they sent these uh, plastic nails, then they sent two pairs of lashes, they sent some hoop earrings, um, some tweezers. And I think this is one of those things that you put on the back of your phone, like a ring. And then they send a comb like this. So as you can see, I've already sleeked back my hair and put on a wig cap. Today's Christmas Eve, by the way, so hopefully this install goes well. <laughs> and this is the wig. I did go ahead and bleach the knots and also I plucked the hairline just a little bit, um, but honestly, the hairline was already really nice and pretty natural. I just wanted to thin it out a little bit more because my hairline, as you can see, it's it comes to the front here, then goes to the back, then comes back to the front. So I had to customize the hairline a little bit for my specific hairline, but let me show you guys what it looks like. Look at how the lace just melts into my skin. This. You guys know I've worked with a lot of wig companies. I always give my honest opinion in my reviews. And this is literally the best lace I've ever worked with. As you can see, it literally melts into the skin. Like, that is crazy. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little rough around the edges. And that just shows that this is real HD lace. It's super soft and thin lace as well. So I had to be a little bit careful. I was scared that I was going to rip the lace, but to be honest, I didn't rip the lace at all anywhere. So that's really good. So as I said, I bleached the knots on this wig. I actually <laughs> over bleached them a little bit. So I had to get hair dye and dye the roots back to black. I'm just adjusting the straps because I already tried this wig like just on my head to see the sizing and it was a little bit on the smaller side. So this is their undetectable 13 by 4 lace front wig and it's the straight wig in 24 inches. Now I didn't have a straightener so I had to blow dry and hot comb this wig so that's why it's a bit, it's not like straight straight but I think I did a pretty good job to be honest. And this hair is really thick by the way, like it's so full. I was actually surprised because usually straight hair is a little bit on a thinner side. So overall there was not much shedding when I was washing the hair. There weren't many tangles. So overall, first impression of this wig is really good. The Especially the lace, that's what I'm most impressed with. And the hairline as well. So I'm going to install this wig. You guys have already seen this process a million times. So I'm just gonna put some background music on and you guys can just enjoy the process and then at the end of this video I will give you guys my full review of what I think of this wig.
So, instant facelift. Um, one thing about this wig, I don't know if they have different wig sizes. I didn't tell them my wig size. I just sent, like, I just sent them the link of the wig that I wanted. But this wig is a little bit tight. Um, so that's why I have an instant facelift right now. So far, I am loving this install. Like, look at the lace. I'm really impressed by the lace. Um, I wish the wig was a little bit bigger, but other than that, like this, this install is looking very promising. I just glued it down and I'm just going to like set the glue with an elastic band for maybe about 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then I'm going to cut the lace off. I can barely even see the lace in my viewfinder. That's how good this lace melts. Like look at that. Look, you can't even see the difference between my lace. That's actually mad. Okay, so I have a meeting in 25 minutes. I'm probably gonna let this elastic band sit for like 10, 15 minutes and then quickly cut the lace off. Because obviously, if it was just the elastic band like this, I could just go on my meeting, but the lace is sticking out and that's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Look at the hair though. This is not even straightened with a straightener. This is just blow dried. So imagine how silky it is when, when it's been straightened. Like, look at this. It's giving classy. <laughs> this is gonna be my Christmas wig. Literally, today's Christmas Eve, tomorrow's Christmas. Look at it, it looks so good. And I can't wait when I get my straightener to straighten the ends properly because I was really struggling to straighten the ends with the blow dryer anyways I'm gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes and then I'll be back with you guys to cut the lace off okay I didn't leave the elastic band on for that long because when I cut the lace I'm gonna put it back on again to let the lace melt really well so when I cut the lace I always have normal scissors and eyebrow razors is that what it's called um, it just depends a little bit on the lace and how it's working the install itself, like if it's really messy with a lot of glue, sometimes this is easier than using scissors. The hairline already looks really well. Like this side is a bit better because this side was struggling to even reach. Okay, because it's a middle part, I don't really care how the sides look because you're not gonna see the sides like that anyways. So I'm just cutting that off like this. But when you do a side part, you wanna make sure that the whole hairline looks good. This already looks so good. Like, I need to add a little more glue because I can tell that some of the spots didn't have enough glue on there. So the lace is lifting a little bit, so I need to add some glue on those parts, but this already looks so good. I would literally go out like this, like no baby hairs, nothing. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of foundation to the hairline because <laughs> I can see that my foundation has come off because I cleaned it with alcohol. So yeah, I need to fix that a little bit. And then I'm going to add very natural baby hairs. I don't want to do too much to this wig. And I'm also going to fix the middle part because I did this on a wig head and I can tell it's a little bit crooked. So I'm going to fix that as well. But let me just add a little bit of glue and then put an elastic band on again. Okay, I put on a sweater because I got a little bit cold. But let's take off the elastic band. And I feel like I'm gonna rock this wig in a ponytail, basically like how I have it now because, I don't know, I like the vibe. I like the vibe this is giving, like. Anyways, the lace is giving. Let me just blend in this foundation. And I can't wait to straighten this with an actual hair straightener. But look how flat it lays. And that's just with blow drying. I think that's my new method as well. Um, let me just fix this middle part. 
Okay, this is the look without baby hairs. Like, guys, I'm actually shocked. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of baby hairs just on the sides because I feel like my forehead is a little big. <laughs> As you can see, I did very natural baby hairs. Uh, you can't even see it properly on camera, but because it's a middle part, I don't really, I don't really mind. Uh, but yeah, this is the end result. I'm really, like, I really like this hair. I am going to put an elastic band on my baby hairs just to let them set, but this is basically the end result. Let me show you guys the length. Once I straighten it, it's gonna be so silky. Oh my god, I cannot wait. The lace is giving melted. The hair is giving silky, soft, straight, black, classic. <laughs> no, but honestly, I really, I really love this hair. It looks so good. It's so soft. And this was really one of the easiest installs that I've done. This lace was amazing to work with. And I'm, I'm literally obsessed. But look at how good it looks just with a blow dryer. I've been wanting to work with Love Me Hair for a while actually because I always see people raving about their hair. And I can say the girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. I literally told you chitterling eating bitches. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Obviously you don't get it because you're not that girl. Got it? I need to go, I need to prepare Christmas Eve dinner. My family is about to arrive in like a, an hour and a half. So I better get going. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you have any questions about any of my wigs, just leave a comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching again. Thank you for your support. This is my last video of 2021 actually. So I hope you all have an amazing holiday season and a happy new year. And I'll see you guys in 2022. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!